All right, here's one of these kinds where we have absolute values on both sides of the equal sign. These are meant to intimidate, um, but don't be, don't be scared of these, all right? Remember, these ones are going to work exactly the same way as if there were no absolute values on this one. So hopefully that makes sense. So on this one, we're going to break this up into two separate equations. The first one is this, uh, nothing changes. I've got 3x plus 4 equals 2x plus 6, and I'm going to solve it. On the other hand, I've got a separate second equation. I've got 3x plus 4 equals a negative 2x plus 6. Again, we're looking at the positive and negative for both of these. So, uh, solving the red one first, we would subtract 2x from both sides. You could subtract 3x. It's not going to ma matter which side you choose the x's to be on. But I'd have an x there now. This is a 0. But that plus 4 is on the wrong side, so I'll have to subtract 4 from both sides. So x equals 2. Oh, that's pretty quick. So why don't you do negative 2x? Yeah, after I distribute that negative into the parentheses, then I will have a negative 2x minus 6. And we still got the 3x plus 4. It's kind of like we're distributing that as a negative 1 into the parentheses. Now, some of you guys are going to end up skipping this step. Just be careful with it, right? Because sometimes we just say it's a negative 2x plus 6, but it's not negative 2x plus 6. It's negative 2x minus 6 in green there. And now we just need to solve for x. So it doesn't matter which side I put the x's on. I'm going to put them on the left again. So I'll add 2x to both sides. And I'll subtract 4 to both sides. So I got 5x equals a negative 10. Dividing both sides by 5 gives us x is negative 2. And there's my two answers. Now again, you should check. And, well, if you put these two in, you'd get a true statement for both.